We're going to build a flow that's going to take a file from WordPress and move it over to SharePoint, which is super excited. So to get started, we are at make.powerapps.com. We are creating an automated cloud flow. I'm naming my flow move files to SharePoint and my trigger is going to be Gravity Forms. So when a form is submitted using Gravity Forms. So I'm gonna create this flow and then we're gonna build all of our actions on here which are going to automate this really cool process for us. Our trigger's here on the canvas and the first thing I need to do is tell my Gravity Forms which form I want. So all of my Gravity Forms that I have on my WordPress site are gonna show up here. I'm gonna select the one that I want my flow to run off of. So that's great, we're done. We've added our form and now I can get rocking and rolling here. Now, my forms won't all have a file, so I only want to take this action if the file has data, which makes sense, right? Otherwise, I don't need to fire this off. So I'm going to select an operational control, and what I want to do is grab a conditional. So my value is my file field, which is very creatively named file on my test form here and I want does not contain and in dynamic content I'm gonna add an expression and just put two single quotes which is a null value so once I'm done that I have my yes and my no sections now I get to really start diving into some fun so we're gonna use a few connectors here and the first thing we're gonna use is a built-in connector which is this HTTP connector and I'm gonna select the standard HTTP action. And what I want to do is just get the file. So my method is going to be get and my URI, I'm going to grab this from that file from the gravity forms form in my initial trigger. All right, so that's, that's our first main action in the if yes, get the file. Now I'm going to add an action for SharePoint. So for this one, I'm looking for the create file. So you can search create file which is gonna bring up a bunch of actions. So I'm gonna grab SharePoint and kind of filter it there. So here's create file in SharePoint. And now I'm gonna configure all the settings I need at SharePoint. So I need to tell my flow, well, once I grab this file, what do I do with it? So my site address, click the arrow down here and it's gonna load all of your sites. I'm gonna select the one that I want here. Folder path, I can select the folder icon. It's gonna show me all the folders I have available within that site, so it makes it nice and easy. And I'm just gonna add this to my list. Um, and then we get into the tricky stuff. Then we get into file name. With file name, what I'd like to do is retain the original file name that the user has uploaded on the form. I don't want the user to have to enter additional text. So to do that, I need to write an expression on the file name. And this is beyond my ability to create. Um, I am not terribly familiar with expressions. And this is where that low code, no code kind of crosses the line where you might need a more technically minded resource to be able to help you with the expressions. And I worked with my partner, Nick Hance at Reenhanced to get this expression. So if I come back over to my blog at crmheidi.com, we've got a little more information here about how we created this expression. So again, grab your handy developer and ask for a little help with expressions. There's a link here that's a reference guide if you need some assistance in the functions available to you to write your expressions. But you can absolutely follow the same format we used in our flow, which is here in the blog. And the reason we're doing this is because the data comes from gravity forms like a string. So the example here, https reenhance.com slash file.txt. So that's terribly not useful for your file name. So we're using the split expression to turn that string into an array, which will then separate out the HTTP from reenhance.com from the file.txt. And then we're gonna use that expression to grab just the last entry of the array, giving us that file.txt for the file name. So that's what we're doing with the general expression. And here's how you can build it out yourself. So when you click in this file name field, back within our Power Automate flow that we're building. We're gonna click the expression button. Then you're gonna enter this, last parentheses split last. Then we're gonna scroll down to the dy dynamic values list below the formula editor. 
select the field from your gravity forms output, and then enter these characters to complete your expression. So that is how you're gonna build your expression. Um, for the purposes of our demo, we're just gonna copy this and come back to my Power Apps. Now I'm in my file name. Let's go to expression. And I'm simply gonna paste this into there. Click OK. And now what that function, what that expression is going to do is pull out that file name. My user had named the file back in this original step when they uploaded it to WordPress. Um, and it's going to name the file that in SharePoint, which is pretty cool. So now that we've done the tough stuff, we're gonna come into file content. And all I need to do is grab the body from the HTTP, which is the top line here. So we're gonna select that. And now we're done. We've built our entire flow. So the trigger is going to be any time a form is submitted on this form, I'm going to check if a file has data. If it does, I'm going to get the file and then I'm going to create the file in SharePoint. The file name will be the exact name of the file that's already there. And the content will be the file that came over from WordPress. Isn't that cool? So now, if you want, you can go off and build this flow. Any, it works on any Gravity Forms form. All you need is that file attachment there, and then you'll be able to rock and roll. So let me know if you have questions as you do this. Um, if you do something similar, but take it like even further, I'd love to hear from that too.